As Elliot discussed, the Pew Matrix was used to help us decide that a driven pile pier would best meet the criteria set forth by the Forest Service. To begin the design of the driven pile pier, we used ASCE 716 to calculate the loads that the pier would need to resist. The loads that we looked at was the load due to this heavy winter snow that the pier would receive. We also looked at the wind load, the self weight of the pier, and the live load from the people that would be using the pier. We also referenced material from the Army Corps of Engineers to calculate the lateral ice loads that would be present on the pier when the lake freezes over in the winter. The pier was designed to reach into the lake 140 feet and parallels the shore 100 feet in the shape of a T. The deck is 5 feet wide which allows for fishing from both sides of the pier. This shape is illustrated in the rendering. The pier is constructed of 14 inch steel hollow piles which are driven 20 feet into the lake bed. After the piles are driven they are filled with concrete to help increase their strength. In the typical, typical connection drawing shown it illustrates how the pier is constructed. The piles are connected with wide flange beams. We used a W16 by 31 across the portion that parallels the shore and a 6W16 by 26 going from the shore to the portion that parallels the shore. The first number, the 16, references the height of the beam and the 26 or 31 references the weight of the beam per foot. We used a larger beam for the portion that parallels the shore as we had some larger spans and needed the increased strength over those distances. The wide flange beams are bolted to metal tabs that are welded to the piles. The deck is constructed of a W3 Verco decking and 5 inches of concrete. This combination allowed us to have the spans that we wanted. There is a railing that is bolted to the deck that runs the perimeter of the pier that has different heights in different areas to allow everyone, including children and those who may be in a wheelchair, to fish over the railing. The pier is connected to the shore with a reinforced concrete abutment. The concrete abutment has concrete poured over part of it to allow the elevation of the sidewalk to match the elevation of the decking of the pier. Matt will now go on to discuss the design of the parking lot.